Jane. I'm Cece. I'm Amanda. We're here at Hip Stitch, where Amanda is the manager on Church Street in Wellesley Square. Amanda, tell us about this fantastic and beautiful store. So this is a fiber art studio. This is our second location. Um, we try to utilize fabric in any way we can. We offer sewing lessons, knitting, crocheting, embroidery, weaving, um, anything you can think of fabric and fiber related. So camp just ended mm -hmm. for children. Do you have classes for adults and teens too? Yes, we do. We offer a fashion design class for um, a junior session and an older session for teens. And then we have um, parent-child lessons. We offer private lessons, one-on-one, -on -one, open studio time, after-school lessons, um, and birthday parties. We try to accommodate everyone. Ooh, what fun. So this is your second location, because I know I've been by your shop in West Newton Center. Yes, yes. We opened um, this one in April, and we just bought another location in Brookline that we're going to open um, hopefully this year. So um, in addition to classes and camp, this is a great place to pop in and get notions. It, can yes, you tell us definitely. What you have? Definitely, yeah. we have needles, we have yarn, um, we have little pin cushions you can make on your own. We have DIY kits of projects that we offer here. If you don't have enough time in class and you really wanted to make a certain stuffed animal, we have take-home kits, hand sewing and machine sewing. Um, we have pretty much everything. We have embroidery kits for sale, scissors, uh, crochet hooks. A lot. <laughs> so when kids come to camp, are you usually the first person to teach them how to sew? Yes, usually. Um, usually it's me and uh, maybe a few other teachers, depending on how many kids we have. Um, but I have taught many, many kids how to sew for the first time in my three years of working for Hip Stitch. Uh -huh. And when you were a child, did you learn how to crochet and knit? Because I remember my grandmother teaching me how to knit. So I didn't do crocheting or knitting, but I did do um, like loom weaving with my grandmother and I also did a lot of hand sewing. So tell, me, tell us more about, you said it's not just um, fabrics, but also fibers. fibers. Yeah, so basically fibers is just what makes up fabric. So um, yarn <laughs> is made of fibers, um, filling is made of fibers, Everything that's fabric is made of fibers, so we just try to utilize them in any way that we can. Um, we try to make it so we have zero waste in the studio because the fashion industry is really bad on the environment and we try not to add to that too much. So all of the scraps, we like wrap chairs in it just to decorate. Um, we have a chandelier over here that we have. Um, it was rusty and old and we just, um, kind of fixed it up and wrapped it in fabric and it's brand new and it's one of the best parts of the studio, so. Could they give us a tour? Absolutely, so we'll always have uh, big, fabulous window displays, try to draw people in. Um, over here, this whole side of the studio is all for sale. So we have sewing notions over here, we have books, pins, needles, threads, um, do-it-yourself kits. We have a lot of Harry Potter and Frozen merch because the kids love their characters. Um, we have DIY hand sewing kits right behind you as well as machine sewing kits of our favorite projects. Um, down here we have all patterns for all of our projects. So we have to keep everything pretty organized and try to remember where everything is. We have our fabric wall over here. We sell the fabric too Beautiful. by the yard. Beautiful fabrics, lots of fun. Yes, the yeah. owner, Nicola Day, she's spends a lot of time and attention picking out all the right all the right fabrics. Yeah, so pretty. And then solid belts here. Yep, belts, some stretch fabric. Um, but we mostly use cotton. It's um, the easiest to work with, especially when you're just starting off. Then over to knitting. Yep, our little knitting section. We have little kits. Um, in those kits, it has everything you need to learn how to make the little animals on the front. Emma the bunny. Yes. <laughs> Yes, we have an array of yarn, we have needles, we have little accessories for your knitting, counting stitches, and we have books. Here are some examples of the animals that you can make. Some of our employees have made those. And then we have a little antique scissor wall over here just to get the sewing vibe going. And then right behind you guys is our little crafting area. Over here, these are all pre-cut projects. So all of the pieces you need for each project are in these bags and it's separated with beginner, intermediate, and advanced. 
everybody starts off as a beginner and say if you're here for a camp day I'll say okay you finish your project now go pick something else in the beginner bins and then as they keep coming they move up and progress for the levels uh, right here we have some hand sewing projects Love it. Some weaving, some <laughs> buttons. Oh, I like the Hermes belt. Yes. <laughs> so get into beads and textures. Yes, definitely. Buttons. A lot of uh, feeling, feeling everything. Very hands very on. Tactile. Yes, yes. And then we have some more craft options over here. We have embroidery, um, weaving. We can have. We have some headbands, collaging. Is this a, um, a birthday party project, the t-shirts? Nope, these are just for sale. We sell these. Um, they're just t-shirts and we sew on um, location logos. So we have some Nantucket, Cape Cod, um, New Hampshire. So these are for sale if you ever want to come by and take a look at what we have. Um, here are some mood boards we have from our fashion design class, which I'm teaching at the moment. Those pick up more in the fall, but we have some limited um, offering in the summer and then of course all of our threads we have definitely a lot to keep track of here <laughs> it's very tidy yes <laughs> I try my best everything's white so <laughs> and you teach the campers how to pick up after themselves oh yeah everybody well especially with COVID everybody's separate and they have their own set of tools um, so they're not all touching each other's tools and um, you know pick up your pins when you're before you're leaving, sanitize your machines. We try to have them be as responsible as possible. That's great. And I love the wall pillows. Oh, thank you. Yeah. This is our stuffy wall, yes. So this is a wall of all the different things um, anybody could come and make at the studio. Our stuffies, which we call them, are our biggest hit. Um, and then our clothes at the top as well. And we have different sizes for each. Um, outfit depending on the size of course. So how advanced do you have to be before you can make an outfit like that top? Is so um, you can be very inexperienced to make clothes. We do a simple skirt, we do pajama pants, um, a pair of shorts. Those are all like very fresh beginner projects that you can do on like your second day maybe. Um, and then from there you just move up. You could do a dress, a beginner dress, then intermediate dress, and then it comes kind of just build up your skills. So these are the sewing machines that we use. We only use Brother. Um, they're very reliable and they're very good for beginners. Um, they're user friendly, but these specific machines are digitized, which just means they're a little more high tech. Um, if you look all of these pictures over here, these are stitches that the machine can be programmed to do. And all of the kids know how to do that themselves within the first two days of coming and learning. Well, thank you, Amanda. You yeah, inspired us to get so much. back into our creative side. Thank you guys for stopping by. So if you'd like to check out the offerings for this fall, go to hipstitchers.com and you'll see all of the classes that Amanda has talked about and maybe we've inspired you to start your next project. Thanks, Wellsy Media. Thank you. Thank you.